What a wonderful outlook. Well, today felt like a little burst of summer with these warm temperatures. Is it just a tease? Meteorologist Ray Petland joins us with the forecast. Ray. Oh, it, it is just a tease because we first of all have some rain on the way. This is going to get followed up by some cooler temperatures to round out the next couple of days. But into the weekend, we're going to bounce back and I think we'll get a, another little taste of this coming up. Now we have some rain and some of that's heavy back into Ohio. This is in the Youngstown area. That's going to continue to work on towards our side of the border. So we are looking at some waves of heavier rain starting to inch towards us. You can see from Salineville up to Salem in Ohio, back down to Steubenville is where we see some of the heaviest precipitation at this point. No uh, lightning or thunder showing up there, but I wouldn't be surprised if you get some rumbles of thunder this evening. Now, we've had a few showers pass through downtown Pittsburgh, otherwise cloudy skies downtown, 70 degrees. Our relative humidity is at 44 percent and our winds. That's the other part of the story. 15 to 20 mile per hour winds out of the southeast gusts as high as almost 30 miles per hour in Pittsburgh. But other spots are seeing wind gusts at 45 like Morgantown, 35 in Latrobe. Indiana's wind gusts have pulled back a little bit. They're at 30 now, but just an hour ago they were at about 45 mile per hour and 34 for Catanic. So it is a gusty setup this evening. That's going to continue overnight. We're going to have more wind gusts tomorrow, too. 70 in Pittsburgh to Connellsville, 75 in Waynesburg, Morgantown, 76. Temperatures up to the north, a little cooler. You get the upper 60s for Beaver Falls, Cranberry, 70 in Newcastle, though. And then the mid-60s, Butler, Catan, and Clarion, and Franklin as you go further to the north. Tonight, temperatures are going to be mild. We're going to be in the 50s again for our overnight lows. But tomorrow, we're not going to have a big rebound like we did today. So we have this rain that's going to continue to cycle in. We have the front that's just back to our west. Once that gets here, it's going to get gustier still. And we're going to see some uh, heavier rain trying to fire along that front as it gets here. So Futurecast here shows us how we're going to see this all work out. The rain showers continue to move in into tonight. Some heavier waves of rain passing through. By the time we get up tomorrow morning, the heaviest precipitation is going to be off to our east. And that will continue to move on. Then the rain we get for the remainder of the day should be on the lighter side. We'll keep these scattered showers. And you'll see those temperatures actually settle down a little bit into the afternoon. And then Friday, some cooler temperatures temperatures for us there before we start to warm it back up into the weekend with some sunshine even to start the weekend off. So when it comes to the forecast tonight, you are looking at the rain, the wind and temperatures staying mild in the low 50s tomorrow. An early high of 63, those temperatures falling in the afternoon, scattered rain showers, not too much in the way of sunshine. Cloudy skies for your Friday. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 50s. And after those early showers on Friday, we're going to wrap that up. We'll start to chip away at the cloud cover. Then getting into the weekend, you can see Saturday, 68 degrees, not too shabby, pretty much on par with what you would expect for this time of year. And that mix of sun and clouds. Warmer still on Sunday with a chance for some showers in the afternoon. Now, even though the afternoon has a chance for showers, it does not look like this is going to be widespread. And I think there's going to be plenty of time to get outside and enjoy the weather this weekend.